Hello YouTubers, this is Patrick. Well, I want to do this eventually sometime today. Um, but this is my my PC version of uh, my Hall of Famers. See what I've got. I'm starting with Craig Biggio. The A9, I think that's his rookie card. I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this. If I'm doing it right, if you like how I'm doing this, Please let me know. Okay, 88 his was Hall of Fame. My bad. I don't know why I thought 89. But if you like what you've seen, press like. And if you like it or don't like it, give me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Because I'm never sure how if I'm doing it right for y'all. This is for y'all to learn a little more about what um, cards each Hall of Famer has. It's not about how many um, Hall of Fame cards I have, but how many uh, how many cards you recognize, or if you want, if you're collecting a certain person Hall of Famer, and you might want to want to know how many, what cards you're missing from your collection. Well, here's a good idea of how to look. Right now, I'm still in the B's, so anything after B.I. is coming, according to Hall of Famers. I know Bond, um, Boggs, and Brett, another um, B Hall of Famer is going to be coming. I'm proud of what I'm proud of what I've done for my collection. How many I have of each card? Eighty-nine upper deck on the left. Always love if I get an upper deck. Upper deck. Hey, please ignore the price. Um, get price tags on here because those are from when I did YouTube um, was selling them at a flea market and that was about, like about uh, 20, 10 to 15 years ago just because they have their price in, on there doesn't mean they're actually worth that much or little, little. I don't really I mean like I said I did it back then but I don't I'm not worried about, I don't want to sell cards unless they're doubles. Because basically I'm not, I'm trying to collect single cards, not doubles of every player. And I got some hex of some great doubles. But they're the only ones I'm, will, I'll be willing to sell or give away. Oh, I, want, I meant to show you a little more thing. These, these right here or is a um, parallel set of the base. I like to put those together to kind of show the difference between that way it's like, hey, I wonder if, that, if that's a parallel or if that's a base or whatever, it's a short print. Well, you'll see what you'll see that way on here. If they're, if they're close to each other, that means they might be, I try to do that. Sometimes I do and sometimes I forget. I'm going to try to get as much, much as I can. I mean, heck, it's only been four minutes, so it's not like I'm doing a long job thing here. You have to remember, I have Asperger's Syndrome, so for me, I, I do short things because that's short videos because that's the only time I keep my attention a lot of times. Well, so far today, I've, I've done better than I usually do. I've been I've tried to do this video about five or six times, and either my clumsiness or the 
didn't realize I was shooting it sideways once. So I, I, I gave that up. These are fun. I mean, I've been collecting for many, many years. I'm 51 now, and I've been collecting since I was around 16 or 17. Actually, before that, but not not really hard until I was 16 or 17 when I actually had the money to be able to buy baseball cards. Some, sorry, sometimes I'm a little too long on these because I I'm, I can't tell if I've actually put on pause or not. This card right here, I'm right here, is actually from a magazine. It's not worth anything, but it's a nice card. A lot of these, some of these cards I got from um, uh, auction, online auction. Okay, we're almost done with Bijo. Next is Burt Blylevin. I mean, that blue card on the left, that's a really nice card, I thought, I think. Artist Proof. That's an artist proof of, I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, X, um, here's Burp Lye 11. We're starting up Burp, Burp Lye 11. Here, there's an old card of Burp Lye 11. Okay. I like getting old cards. It's hard for me to get hard, hard, older cards, although I've been doing this for a long time, so. There's a box card. That's a box card right there. Cut from a box. That's why they call it a box card. I don't know what player people you like. If um, hopefully uh, we have some Bly Levin um, fans here watching this. Next is Wade Boggs. Er, who is a Wade Boggs fan? Oh well, other than Yankee fans. This is the last of Bart Blylevin and the first of Wade Boggs. Right Aid. I remember Right Aid. We used to have one here. <laughs> then went to Walgreens. Now it's gone. I'm hoping you're enjoying this. Sorry, I'm not talking that much. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. 
This is a collector book. That one has little books, little books of each player. That one's a good one. Tampa, Tampa Bay, that's kind of weird to me. 85 tops. I like getting older cards, obviously. This is a lot easier than doing it like I used to, but when I did one at a time, a lot quicker. For the record. It's classic. It's simply classic. There's the real 86 tops. The last one was a um, one of those reprints. There's a game from I think Collector's Choice on the left. Trying to get us more focus. Yeah, I mix junk wax cards with real the real baseball. The cards are really good ones from real harder to get. A9 upper deck. That one, the, the one on the left, that's one of those um, cards you have to guess who that is. That you give you a little interview thing. It looked like Wade Boggs, so I figured it must be Wade Boggs. There's 84 tops. Earliest Wade Boggs I have. I know A3 is his rookie. Unfortunately, I don't have that one. And I'm not spending a lot of money for rookie cards. I don't. I can't afford those kind of things. Some people try to tell you all the years and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm, this is for those who are know about baseball cards and don't have and know the years without having to be told, be cuddled to, and all that. Trust me, if I was to do all the years, show tell every year, this be a, this a lot, um, video would last twenty minutes, two hours. This one right here, though, that's those are little stickers on the. Oh, this one is a, um, that one is one of those, um, reprint ones. And we go to the mini, and the two, eight, 92 Donruss. There's Post. Those are hard to get, I think. But then again, I've, and the Kmart, I don't think you'll find many Kmart boxes unless you see them at a yard sale. <laughs> 